Do so you how to do the dance. Jump, then you gonna bend. channel and today you have guessed it we are going to be making a juice that will help you bust out that belly fat okay um this is new this is a new little thing that i'm trying but i've always done juices but this is a different type of juice that i'm doing today so it's going to incorporate two green apples some ginger just a just a little thumb piece lemon and spinach okay and you have to do this twice a day of course always drink 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 your water and um that's going to also help flush out a lot of those um toxins and things in your body but this is going to aid in helping with reducing that belly fat which we all hold on to now you can make this um into a juice or you can do it into a smoothie. It's up to you because remember, it's nothing more than spinach, ginger, lemon, and apples. And I suggest if you're going to do a smoothie, do not use almond milk. Do not use any type of dairy or anything of that sort. Use water and replace of all of that. And you're going to come out with something fantastic. So today I pulled out my Hamilton Beach juicer. And I decided that I was going to try it with the Hamilton Beach juicer. And if I don't like it that way, then I'm going to continue doing this um, with uh, my my blenders, okay? I might pull out my Vitamix or my, um, oh my God, I can't even think of the name of it. Anyway, I got so many different blenders, it's ridiculous. All right, so anyway, so let's get started. So you're supposed to put the whole apple in there, but because apples have seeds in it and I don't want seeds in mine, I'm going to take mine and I'm going to... Slice my apples down. You keep the um, peelings on. Keep the peelings on, okay? So, I've always had a hard time with doing this. I don't know why I've always had a hard time doing this. But I, I've always had a hard time trying to get my apples to start to slice. But maybe I got weak arms or weak hands or something. I don't know. But we're going to see if we can get these apples sliced down. Here we go. It's, it's working. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to pour it out. Come on, Apple. Here we go. So that's one. That was hard. Okay? And it didn't even go all the way through like I needed to. You know what? Let me get my... Um... Flatter surface, so I do it on a flatter surface. We'll put it up there. That might work better for me. Okay. I'm gonna pull this through. How about we just pop it back out and just pull it apart? Okay. So that's one apple. That's the core for that apple. All right. I'm, we can use this for that. All right. And you got to peel your lemon. Remember, you got to peel your lemon. Because, of course, you don't want all those, that peeling and stuff like that. And um, I see, with the lady that I saw do it, she put the whole lemon in her juicer. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the whole lemon in my juicer because I don't want those seeds in there. Because I'm, I'm sure lemon seed probably had like a really bitter taste to it. So, I don't know. I don't think I want the seed in mine. That. Okay, so we're going to put those over there, the cores over there. So we got our two apples. Okay, we got them ready. You guys can see that. And we're going to take the. Let's put this down here. Let me 
peel the ginger. We're going to peel the ginger, okay? Now my spinach is washed and ready to go. Let's get the little ginger. Now this ginger itself has so many different um, benefits in it. And I will list them right here. Okay, ginger and apples, they have so many different benefits in it. And, I mean, it's great for colds and, oh, my God, it's good for your joints and everything. So, that's the ginger we're going to be using. All right. So, I got some of this, uh, put the apple on here. I'm, I'm a real funny person. Okay, so let's move this out of the way because we don't need that. So, let's get this lemon together. So, we want to peel this lemon. It smells so good. I love the way um, citrus things smell. Look at my hair, it's just all in my face. <laughs> I'm gonna peel this lemon down. And you know, lemon really, it cuts a lot of fat, lemon do. So if you like get up in the morning and you have having water, a good thing to do is never have your water cold, have it like room temperature, but put lemon in it and sip off of that every day. And you'll be surprised how um, that um, cuts belly fat as well. All right, so we got this lemon pill. Take all this stuff off of it. So we got the lemon pill. So I'm gonna cut the lemon in half. And I'm gonna try to pluck some of the seeds out of there. I probably won't be able to get them all because um, these lemon have a lot of seeds in them, which is a good thing. You know what I do with my lemon seeds? I take my lemon seeds and I um, let them get, I pack them dry and then I peel them, peel off of them and have the inside and I put them in a towel and some um, water in a, a sandwich bag and I seed them and I grow them. Now you can grow lemons in your house. That's a trick for you guys. Yes, you can grow lemons in your house. All you got to do is seed the seedlings, the little seeds, right? The way I told you, you pack them off and you just peel the top off of them. And then you um, put them in a towel, squirt them down, and you sit them in a dark spot. In about four to five days, maybe six days, they'll start to germinate. But if you leave them for a week or two, you'll have a whole little plant. And you can put that in some dirt. Got a whole lemon tree. Boom. Okay? All right. So, let's get to get this thing on and popping. So, we want to start. This is my, my container. Of course, we got this spinach. All right. So, we're going to do, you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to mix my spinach with my apples. I'm going to throw these apples, a couple of apples in here. And I'm going to mix some spinach down in with the apples because um, the spinach itself, is, it doesn't have any juice to it like that. So the apple is more likely to create juice. So I'm going to take a handful, just a handful, just like that. And I'm going to stuff this down here into my juicer. And remember, make sure your juicer is clean. <clears throat> I'm going to put some apples on top, a couple apples on top. So when this juice comes down and out, it's going to be green. Okay, let's turn this thing on. Now, it gets a little loud. sounds there but okay let me get a uh 
You know what? I got a cup here. I'll have to go on with my face. That's dripping a little. And I don't want it dripping all over my counter, so wait a minute. Just one second. We're going to put this underneath here. But that's the juice we got, okay? We're going to pour it into here. It's not a lot. I think you probably would get more if it was a smoothie. Okay? I'm going to take my knife and stir it around here. And I'm going to give it a taste. Now, mind you, I have never tasted this before. So if I give you off a crazy face, it's because... <laughs> I don't know what I'm about to embark on here, okay? So, let's see. Now, mind you, it's two apples, one lemon, and ginger, and spinach. And that's it. I was... It's tarty. It's not oversweet. But it does have a sweetness to it because of the apples. I can taste the ginger. For me, I like ginger. I think I will put a little bit more ginger in there. I think I might. Oh, I will put a lot more ginger in there because I love ginger. Okay. And, um, okay. I, you know what? I'm sure this is good not only for belly fat. This has got to be good for your hair, your skin, your nails because of the nutrients and all of everything that. It's inside of this, these particular um, fruits and veggies and these roots, because this is a root, okay, guys? It, I'm telling you, it has, it has to be extremely um, awesome for your body. Now, I haven't eaten anything. This is the first thing that I'm intaking this morning. I will be doing another one this evening because you're supposed to do it in the morning and at night. So, um, what I think I'm going to have to do because... Especially on Mondays, because I have to go into the office on Mondays. I think I will be um, making my juice and sitting in the refrigerator overnight and then having the other one in the morning. I'm, this is good. Guys, this is good. This is really good. It, it's good. To me, it's good. It's delicious. So I'm going to drink this. And I'm going to finish up. I got to clean this up. Make sure you clean everything up. I don't know what I'm going to be. I got to work out too. I got to work out because I've had um, some issues with my shoulder. I had the um, a capsulitis tendonitis of my left shoulder. So I've been in therapy working on my shoulder. And I'm doing exceptionally well. I don't feel as much pain as I did. So I got to go and do my bands. And um I don't know, I may be doing some ab work today and a little cardio. Maybe a walk. It's cool out, but maybe a walk today. But guys, remember, always, as I always ask you guys to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If there's anything you want to see me try, drop a comment down in the comment box. As long as it's rational, I will try it for you guys. So guys, thank you, thank you for all of my new subscribers. I want to say thank you for all those who have hung in there with me and are hanging in there with me as I begin to try and grow my channel. And stay tuned, guys, stay tuned for the update on my Moderna um, usage now. It's not, we got a couple more days now. Remember, November the 16th, November the 16th, is um, the mark that I said I was going to come back and see what Moderna was doing to my skin. Okay, now remember also that these were old marks, so I don't know. I'll tell you what I think about it in the next video and um, how it's improved my skin, whether or not it's, it's done it or it's, has not. Okay, guys? So again, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.